In 1971, I got my PhD in animal ecology, and at the same year, the Department of Natural Resources at the Institute of African Research and Studies was open, so I joined it because my PhD was truly applicable to the questions of the management of natural resources. Because the management of natural resources means, according to UN definition, study, utilization, and conservation. So I like this very much, especially that 1971 was a hinge year in the history of the environmental movement in the world because there was the Stockholm Conference on Man and the Environment in 1972 and the creation of the United Nations Program for Environment Unit and the creation of the MAP program in UNESCO, Man and Biosphere, and also the signing of the Convention for the Conservation of World Heritage, both natural and cultural. So I was very nicely prepared to do the job of continuing my profession as an ecologist, an environmentalist a conservationist and at the same time a futurist. How did I come into futurology? In 1973, which was also part of the environmental movement, a group of eminent scientists from all over the world met in Rome to decide on the, uh, the creation of a federation for future studies. And I was invited as an ecologist because futurology was known falsely to be concerned with economics and sociology only. But environmental issues also needed a futurological outlook. So in 1973, the World Future Studies Federation was created in Rome and I was one of the founding members. My paper that I presented at the Rome conference was on the third world, environmental conditions in the third world, and uh, how it should be improved and how it should be uh, put on a, the right path in the future. That is why I am here as a futurist.